Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Germany episode number 12. So I have um, one little announcement about this peace deal that went off awry two, uh, two episodes ago. I actually did cre end up creating a forum post about it, potentially mentioning maybe this is a bug or just kind of um, com essentially just complaining about it. But uh, there was a good discussion that followed and I would say that yeah, so my initial reaction when it fired was uh, it's absolutely terrible. I've had really bad ones. <laughs> People who know watched the Japanese series. There's an episode called Darn Diplomats, and it's probably, I think it's my worst peace deal ever. I think it was like over 100,000 victory points up. <laughs> so it's just much, it was a significant victory that was thrown away. It was a white piece, I believe. Anyway, um, I, the people kind of just talked about it. We rolled through a bunch of history points and uh i don't know if you could convince me that the it, it would be a realistic historical option uh in this exact situation but the game is not supposed to i don't think look at germany as the peace participant versus great britain like the fact that great britain is the navy who lost all this to me it would mean a lot more than for example france or italy or russia almost anybody lost the same thing because um british bargaining power their foreign relations was I mean, their political might was a lot dictated by the fact that they controlled the water. So you had to kind of cake, you know, toe to them, cow toe to them a little bit since they were able to blockade, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they had they had the coaling stations even. I mean, you, there's a lot of reasons why I think that British naval power was much more important for Britain than the naval power of another nation was for, you know, that nation. Anyway, uh, long story short, the peace agreement we got was a real bummer. And obviously, after four months of war, having already lost a colony in such a short amount of time, we basically got extremely unlucky. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking back on it, and I'm happy that we did not decide to mod the game at all or edit it at all, because it's going to give us a good incentive, a good plot line to, for revenge. And I will be going after the British. So. so that all said, let's continue our war against Russia, which is going extremely well. I think I called them the punching bag. It's like... <laughs> We need something to take out our aggressions, and look at look who's here, Russia. Now, one thing I would like to happen, just for the game to show a little bit of fairness, is maybe one of our invasions trigger. Um, as soon as we have this one invaded, I'd like to go over... Let's find out if this is possible. So I believe it is. This is Estonia, Latvia, Baltic States. 10 points. So we can actually invade this one as well. You can invade up to 10 points, I believe. Is 10, Canada 10 points... 12, yeah. So you can take... I don't think invasions can happen at 12. I'm not sure. But you can invade something which is 10 points. So if we're really lucky... In fact, maybe I should just switch my target over to the Baltic States since we are blockading them. And obviously we have a really dominant force here. The funny thing to me is... Yeah, let's actually do this because we have a huge force. We're blockading them. Wait, no, 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 no. We need 3 to 1 odds. Which we don't have. Okay, so we won't do that yet. Yeah, okay, we're still relying on this. And I know that we have a l armored cruiser heading its way over there. Which, when it gets there, can help with things. We have the nice nows out. So that's that's good news as well. Yeah, we want to preserve at least one of these uh, armored cruisers. So we have something for a light carrier conversion. We'll see if that ends up happening. Also, I wanted to take a look at a little bit more about this. So minesweeping and mine laying, we have zero all around everywhere. That may not be a good thing. We probably should get another class of destroyer, which ends up having um, minesweeping capability. And this will be our new coastal patrol thing. We basically want like a 50-50 distribution, in my opinion, of minesweeping and anti-submarine. I don't think ASW is modeled per area. I'm not sure. I really want to ask these details. I, I kind of want to know, essentially, if I put somebody on coastal protection, I don't want to have to worry about what sea zone, or trade protection. I don't want to worry about what sea zone they're in. Oh, by the way, ah, before I forget, oh my gosh, let's just blank this real fast. I need to get something up for you. I forgot to showcase that we had some more fan material come in, which I'm very happy about. So I already showed you the HMS Hohemslern. Uh we also have the S60. This is by Ecrivian. I'm not going to pronounce that correctly, but he even gave me a pronunciation guide. Pigeon. <laughs> it was the nickname, I think. Anyway, um, there's a few designs. These are all made in paint, which is impressive, if, you're, if you ask me. 
So that's that one. And then we have, uh, this is the Wittelsbach, Foppen, the Hamburg class, 1905. And then this is the upgraded version. Is it different? Probably is. But this is the Schleswig von Holstein um, after its 1911 refit. And this is, uh, I get, shown with honor stripes. These are because I guess the Schleswig Holstein wasn't that the one that created the turret flash fire. So more fan art is pouring in and thanks to those people who are helping with that. Okay, so let's move on. Oh, amazing. High, 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 high research priority. We'll accept the fleet battles. Still wanna take those. I really wish we would invade. Okay, so this is a fleet battle. Let's just wait for it to happen. Visibility. So it is twilight, which means it's daybreak. Good, it is January, so we might not have very much light. Perhaps we'll know. Sunrise in 15 minutes. Be helpful to know how much time we have after that. Anyway, so let's get everyone off of AI control and How do we want to play this? Probably going to want to pe move people up to 20 knots. We have our normal line of dreadnoughts. So how will this work out for us? We do have ports not too far away. That's actually, I would say, a nice interesting little tidbit for us. Let's get these guys down to 20 knots. We don't want anybody extending that much of their endurance that quickly. Wind is going to be out of the east. We probably won't be able to get to the east in time to really take advantage of that. So I think we're going to head east. And we'll just open up the line, I, I guess. Cause I whoa, these are these are not battleships. This is a battle cruiser, perhaps. What is a Voin class? Six inch guns. I'm surprised they're even in range of us at this point. So good initial fire. Are these battle cruisers? No, we've now identified them as yeah, armored cruisers. This one could be a battle cruiser, a real battle cruiser. I mean, we're doing so well, I'd hate to draw us off the line. <laughs> okay, so with sunlight now, we should be able to get an effective time. Six hours. We have six hours, plenty of time, actually. More than we need. I'm gonna get these guys up to 18. Because I would like them to tangle with this group a little bit more. Although I don't want to actually make corrections to the line. This is a pretty bold move. Torpedo, t torpedo range is going to come in pretty soon. I might have to make it a, a turn south. They're insane for doing this, but at the same time, the things have not gone very well for them. Mm, four nautical miles. They are not in torpedo range yet, so this is actually just them laying it on the line, trying to get close for whatever reason, and not paying off very well for them. So let's just speed this up a little bit more. Yeah, I don't think that this was a very smart idea. I don't think it's going to end up being working out poorly for them. That one is going to work out poorly for <laughs> these Lotnik, what are they? Yeah, these are the 9-inch ones with the extremely heavy armor. Everyone's just going to take their parting shots at this one now. <laughs> and I'll be happy, let's see, I do want to send some light cruisers back, in fact. Get these guys down to cruise. I do want somebody in the rear to, just in case, you know, what we don't want to hap happen happens if they send like a destroyer raid against me. So I send all these guys down to cruise and essentially just pull them into formation. Are we also knocking this one out? Yeah, I think so. It's now raining. Light rain.
Okay, good. So, we probably don't want to go into, uh, into their little bay. I've fought in there before, and I've hit mines and all kinds of things, so... I know the, the worries, the troubles. Two armored cruisers is already something. Quite good, you know? Here's the rest of their battle line, it appears. I'm very happy that we didn't have to end up making any changes to these this formation. What's gonna happen here though? This is interesting. I feel like we should be able to end the war if we just play our cards correctly here. So we're just gonna let this line continue for as long as possible. Okay, this is the destroyer group that I want to make sure does not get its job done. Come on, hold steady. Probably gonna have to do a battle line turn away here, unfortunately. Would really love if those things were hitting the destroyers. Okay. Okay, one more turn. Let's not risk it. We've already sank two light cruiser or armored cruisers. Put these guys up. Yeah, and we're gonna penalize those uh, those ships for trying their worst. And they actually came south with us. That's boy, is that interesting? Because in theory, I can just move east again. One more turn. Some beautiful maneuvering. I mean, if you were to see the them actually perform this well, it would be a quite a sight to behold. Um, so how do we actually play this though? We're just gonna run this out here on this kind of weird angle. See what happens. Oh, I didn't mean to, mean to do that. That was just because it started running more than a minute, even though I'm, I'm hitting space bar. I wanted to stop every minute so I can reevaluate. Okay, so we're just landing a ton of damage on these guys. I'm not seeing turrets destroyed yet. So there's that much going for them. They do have a lot of escorts again, which is worrisome. We'll have to be careful about that. Um, we are launching torpedoes, maybe a little bit prematurely. Maybe not. Maybe it is the right time. Boy, as Oh, no. Get out of there. <laughs> we need to keep this one alive. <laughs> Yeah, so these torpedoes aren't going anywhere, as we'd expect. Just gonna pull this line south. We're doing so much damage that I'm trying to get in whatever, however much we can before we end up completely turning south. Or maybe turning north. I mean, could have these guys loop around and let the battleships lead the line. Be a weird situation, but... What happened to the Augsburg? Two knots, oh boy. She does not look like she's in good shape. <laughs> um, I mean, we're doing really good as far as hits go, heavy hits. Again, I'm still not really seeing huge amounts of damage done, but we should expect that we're doing a lot more damage than they are. I don't want to turn north with this group, so I am going to do this battle line north and shuffle the order. So these guys are going to keep going, but you're going to shuffle back. I guess these guys will shuffle north. It's kind of a confused mess here. But we need to fight that. We need to fight against the temptation to be a little bit lazy. 
We need to be very precise with our movements. I think we are going to make our battle line go west. Squad max these guys so they can catch up. Oh, there's actually a battleship attached to this group. Oh, and that's maybe not good. Is that a... That's an armored cruiser line? We do want to detach the Osberg. She's flooding? She's actually doing fine. She just has <laughs> real engine problems. Oops. Don't go this way. You go this way. Um, we're going to want to turn south to avoid these guys. They're turning south as well. Probably torpedoes being launched by both parties. Well, I, okay, but I only one party. <laughs> We're definitely in torpedo range though, so we need to pull away very quickly. That kind of dampens my enthusiasm to move west. But every single one of these, we're doing a lot of damage, so we hit, we're hitting these destroyers. I mean, they have so many destroyers. Of course, we don't have a fleet destroyer out yet. Whoops. It's fine. Let's get you. I'm going to have a weird formation here for a little bit. Until I have the wherewithal to straighten us out. We don't want to abandon the Augsburg, though. We really don't. She's down to zero. What happened? I mean, sorry, what? I think it's just this one, two consecutive engine rooms hit. Not consecutive, but two engine room hits. That apparently has done her in. Not uh, done her in as in she's dead, but uh, it's going to be a kind of a pain to micromanage protecting her. Now, it is a bit messy here. Let's let's get rid of this. You up to squad max. You also cruise. Um, you might need... Uh, where's my armored cruiser? No, let's send the light cruisers back. I'll send the armored cruiser back as well, just as a preemptive measure against torpedoes, which is certainly what could do a lot of damage to the Augsburg. We might even just run this battle line north. Oh, you guys are fine going that way. So who's actually able to... Okay, medium guns, I'm not worried about that. I sent one battle group north, I thought. Nope, I just thought I did, but I didn't. Yeah, this is foolish, I would say, up there, Rurik, to do that. She's taking some fire immediately for it. One of her turrets is down. These are only six inch guns as well. I just not. Where's the 10 8? <laughs> they have dual purpose guns. It's really funny. That has been fixed. I don't know if I've already mentioned that, but the. Frederick has patched now the, the illegal designs from legacy fleets. So this is three nautical miles. We're getting close to torpedo range. These are destroyers. They turned away. Good. Perfect. Okay, you are going to link up. You are going down. You are actually going to take up the rear. I'm going to have some funny situation here. Not too funny, but... Rurik is really paying <laughs> really paying for its decision. And actually, I don't want these guys to support the Augsburg because she'll reattach with them. I'm actually going to get her to AI control just so I can see when she starts moving. Oh god, we missed our turn. Just so much damage going down now. Now, I'm not really that worried about it. I'm not seeing too many hits on our stuff, but I know that we're going to be doing a lot more damage than we're going to be receiving. That's my expect expectation. And unless I see something which really changes my mind, I'm going to believe it's true. These light cruisers. So this is where we could have a problem. 
Uh, yeah, we're just gunning these down, though. <laughs> okay, this battleship can now catch up. This group can go down to cruise, and that'll be perfect for it. Let's get these guys up to 18, so they can try to catch up as well. And our line is slowly being formed back. No, who did I command to do that? That's probably fine. You like this, you like, no, you like this. And up to 18. You guys down to cruise. All right, that looks good. Yeah, I mean, this is a victory of nothing else just because of all the cruisers, uh, the destroyers were sinking. No, they're going to pick on the Augsburg. Do we really? care. <laughs> it's really hard to micromanage this. Can we just let the one go? <laughs> no. We will save her if we can. But, you know, at some point you gotta just say, Augsburg, it's your own fault. I don't know what you're doing, but just make sure you have at least some engine power. If you had any engine power at all, it would have been enough to get you out of harm's way. Just, I mean, at, at some point you just have to be like, okay, I don't care if we cause flooding. Just do it. <laughs> But I mean, if there's a big hole, big chunk missing in your engine, you know, it's not easy to do. <laughs> she is launching her torpedoes in her own, and she, you know, she, she might make it. Almost dangerous for our armored cruiser to be over here, but all the while we're probably working on these other ones really nicely. We have our full battle lines over there. Don't like this. That Augsburg might have to be sacrificed. Oh, now's the. Ooh, okay. We don't want to lose more. Yeah, Augsburg is a goner. We cannot save her. And just she's done the noble thing. She's sent herself to the grave just to confirm. Our suspicions that she will not be able to be saved. That was very noble of her. Kind gesture just to make sure that we aren't worrying about her. Okay, so I guess we just ride over, circle around, circle the wagons. Essentially, that's what we want to do, too. You guys should go squad max to get out of there. Same with you. And I may even just do a battlefield turnaround here. Well, it'll be a turnaround the other way for these guys. We do have some destroyers coming our way. I don't care about the light cruisers, though. Those are supposed to stay the course and deal with these guys. And I'm kind of okay with these battleships going this way. I'm going to pull them back, actually. We'll probably end up sinking those destroyers if they keep straying closer. Obviously, it's going to be difficult for them to hit. I think we've done a really good job positioning ourselves uh, to prevent any torpedoes uh, so far in this fight. So, it's been a understandable success. <laughs> Hasn't been like, wow, we must have really dodged them. No, we didn't even really need to dodge. We were in such good positioning. And the visibility obviously worked to our advantage in this case. It's one of the one of the more important things, of course, being able to see the ships before they approach. Okay, let's get these guys back down to Cruise? Is that what we're doing? We're doing some are cruise, some are not. Let's get everyone down to cruise now that I feel like the battle line has been formed up reasonably well enough that we can stomach the lower speed. Preserving, as always, our endurance. Yeah, this might be an interesting way to pursue, to pull this battle off, is just by heading... Hey, you guys do need to move fast, though, because you're way behind. And they're both, uh, well, my, both my light cruisers are now picking up survivors. Might be a little bit early in the battle to do that, but I did give them permission, so okay. Fair enough.
All right, this is nice. Another nice battle line. They are two, four nautical miles away. That's far enough away that I think we'll be okay. We're really doing some damage over here. My goodness. Landing a lot of hits. The Russian ships usually have really poor crew quality. That's what I would attribute a lot of this to, but you never know. Just gonna try to keep our distance. And this is like this is a dream situation for the German Navy to just somebody who's agreeing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with us. When we clearly outgun them. And yes, good, we're taking out these destroyers. They are 900 ton destroyers, so that, that is something. They don't have very many torpedoes for that. And now, yeah, they're just getting gunned down. That one's probably already sinking. Even if she isn't officially yet, she probably will be soon. Yep, yeah, she just really is putzing off. Heavy damage, I'm sure she's gone. So we've done good to just keep out of range, make things difficult for them, pulling back. They have so many ships, though. My goodness. It's like, even though we are keep sinking them, keep sinking them. <laughs> just have more. Not necessarily good quality, but sometimes quantity is its own form of quality. So we could probably safely pull off here, and this would be a huge victory for us. They would probably pursue. That is one of the benefits of having saved our endurance, I think, is that we would just be able to get away. At least from everything but their armored... I mean, the, at least from their battle line. Maybe not their armored cruisers, but those would be really no match for us. Yeah, we're just, in, just doing so much damage. <laughs> it's, it's quite impressive. This one looks like it's smoking. Heavy damage on fire. Yeah, I mean, if we didn't have these armored cruisers... I guess they don't need to be on... They don't need to be on uh, AI control anymore. I think we want to make some torpedo runs at these slower ones. It's like the perfect battle though. They can't pull away. If they pull towards us, we just scoot back a little bit. It's just beautiful. It's working out well, very well for us. Just sitting here and doing tons of damage. In fact, we just run this at speed. It looks like this one's actually helping us. It's like our scout. It's not doing anything. What do we have here? Is this is light cruiser on the inside. Nah, that shouldn't be the case. Let's fix that. There we go. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, let's run this at speed for a little bit. We're hitting this corner. That might be the nice break point. We're running out of ammunition anyway. We've done our work. Who knows how many ships we've actually sunk, but it'll be another huge victory. Although, okay, so when I see this, Celestine has limited f flooding. How much? Oh, wow. She's not much to worry about. Do we want to pull back? We do face the threat of torpedoes after what is obviously already an outstanding victory. What are you, Denison, Denison, Denison? Nope, 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 nope. Schlesian, Denison, there she is. Okay, good. What's this Rurik that we're hitting? That's mostly armored cruisers anyway. Uh, I didn't see that last pop-up. Okay, we'll just steady as she goes, leaving this current trajectory. There we go. Oh, you guys caught up <laughs> too, too fast. <laughs> Forgot about you guys on higher speed. <laughs> Are they making a run at us? Would not be smart. 
I mean, we've pretty much demolished them. The only one, the one that's I'm most worried for, if I, well, I'm the Russians, is the one that just literally can't run away. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing either. What is this one doing? She's like suicidal, but she's way too far away to launch torpedoes. Yeah, we're just going to let this come to an end. I don't know what's going on with this one. <laughs> She's having a bad day. It's crazy Russians. They're probably drunk. Begin to set the trap here. Oh, interesting. We do want to know what this is. What the heck is this? Wow, they have really pursued us all the way down. I'm impressed. I really didn't think they would. I'm trying to set up two columns to figure out which way they're going to go here. The ship is really peeling off. What is it? Is this a, a tender? Seaplane tender, perhaps? Let's find out. We're almost in torpedo range. I really hope that we can determine what that is quickly. All right, let's kick this up to speed. Now it's about the time that we want to get serious about avoiding torpedoes, finishing them off, and going home. I still don't know what this is. Because it's avoiding us, I'm like even more tempted to get to engage it. Oh, it's a destroyer. Well, yeah, we'll take that out. Lingering on the Who do they think they are? Oh, this is their port! We've almost made it to their port. I didn't even realize. No wonder they're headed south. <laughs> they're just doing the normal thing, in fact. <laughs> Which means this would be a great time for, ah, uh, not for nightfall. It'd be a great time for our light cruisers to be launching torpedoes. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, where is this guy? They've already sank it. Fantastic. Okay, come back in. So we don't want to be torpedoed ourselves. We have a good, uh, we have a good plan here, though. Sink whatever we can at close range. These guys will just pull away. We're ahead of them, so they can't launch torpedoes. We'll launch torpedoes and then flee the scene. We just blast them with impunity here. Now, these light cruisers are not as in good of shape as far as torpedoes go. They can easily take one. But let's see if we can fire something into the mess here. So far, yes. Okay, let's encourage torpedo launching. I don't know who my lead is. There it is. So just get all these guys to launch torpedoes. Uh, yeah, I just launch. Just, I'm sure that they're going to hit something. <laughs> so many things over there. <laughs> Are we going to end up hitting just... No, wait. I oh, got one. Just really ruining their day right before they go to port. <laughs> and we have a good angle to avoid taking torpedoes ourselves. I think I've already mentioned that, though. And last but not least, we just pull in, I guess. We're not really doing any more damage, so let's keep 
well out of torpedo range. Alright, we'll give the order. Battle line, turn away. Regroup west. And let them do as they wish now. Huddle up for the night. And what? Well, that was. I gotta say, I can't really take all the credit there. That was just a little bit of luck as well. But we we appear to be a very cohesive force. Some of that is, as I said, a little bit of luck. But but that is that has worked itself out very well. And they'll slowly scatter. <laughs> but we'll just wait for this mission to end. That was a very successful one. How long has it been? Almost a full episode. We'll see what the results are. We'll see if we even, you know, <laughs> sank anything. Whoops, avoid that. There it is. Ah, it's so... Ah, I hate these torpedo events. We gotta get some ASW. Wait, we do have ASW. What the hell? So, we did not end up sinking any of their battleships, none of them even got heavy damage. We sank two heavy cruisers, or armor cruisers, four with very heavy damage, one light cruiser, 11 destroyers. So just working their way, th working our way through their points. Four of those with heavy, um, four of those with the heavy damage, it's quite unfortunate. Yeah, but this guy's damaged just because he took a torpedo. Stupid torpedo, stupid submarines. Hmm. Although, when we go back to war with Great Britain, I think we will have to try to utilize those. Okay, so where does this put us? Unfortunately, still no invasions. We are waiting for them. <sighs> Better destroyers. Small engagement. I don't know why we can't invade over there. Really don't. Come on, give me that invasion. We have a lot of money coming in right now. That's really good to see. What do we want to use that for? Probably a new dreadnought. I've been waiting for better technology. What kind of research? Okay, yeah, I forgot amphibious to high. We want this as quickly as possible so we can retake our Pacific holdings, <laughs> specifically the Bismarck Archipelagos. The Bismarck Archipelago, which is many islands. Ah, uh, okay, let's next turn it. No, because we'll do all the things at the same time. Is this really true? The hell? I don't understand this. It's not even in support of the invasion. So we really need to send some more forces over there. We're blockading the Russians, which is great. We can get good deals from that, just doing that. But what I want to see instead, I think I'll just get these guys immediately to be. We're gonna have to react very quickly. I'm pretty sure the visibility is poor right now. Oh, wait, no, yeah, we're we're hands free. What are they talking about? We should have control. There we go. move up this way let's go we'll just find out when we encounter ships there we go oh my gosh very close okay how do we even miss them I don't know what's going on and why this guy is not reacting to me whatsoever. 
tell you one thing though, the first thing I notice is that he's just putting himself in perfect position for a torpedo. If this is a... <gasps> oh man, I thought for sure that was going to be a hit. Oh boy. We're going to stay the course here. I do want to engage this individual, but I don't know whether... Okay, let's do it. Actually, let's continue. Yeah, okay. Let's put all guns on her. We've obviously started off extremely well. We can probably get some cross... No, 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 let's not. Let's go this side. Okay. Yeah, we're doing well. Fire control! Damn it, it had to be the fire control. Turn to avoid torpedoes. Turn. We still don't know where the rest of the convoy is at. I mean, obviously, to a small degree, we don't care if we sink an armored cruiser. And we have support. Like, the extra light cruisers here are making a big difference. So, obviously, she's going to be a dead one. We can go in for the torpedoes, I believe, now. Nothing else is one of those things where it's going to make her maneuver. While she's maneuvering tightly, she's not going to be as able to target us. Try one more time. There it is. Okay. So, hold on to the rest of your torpedoes. You just hold on to your ammunition entirely. Now let's go find out where the rest of these ships are. We have no idea. Pause. So supposedly this way, but we have absolutely no idea. We're going to send our ships in two different directions. We're going to go down to cruise speed to conserve endurance. We found them. <laughs> we found the destroyers, at least. These are still important to take out. Um, since we know they're the destroyers, we might as well react immediately by turning away. We're in torpedo range, after all. You're not firing because I told you not to, but that's no longer the case. Please go ahead and open up on these destroyers. Hopefully they'll also illuminate the way to the convoy ships. They would be foolish to do so, but it's quite possible they will. Um, I think our course is good enough not to be torpedoed. Oh gosh, you guys are going the wrong way. There's some, that's nice. There's some, some hits. And they guided us right to the enemy. What do you know? Perfect. We'll return the favor by pushing them right into my light cruisers. All right, so we'll just run this out then. Since, you know, it's 43 minutes. We're making all these episodes really long now. Not really intentionally, but run. Go. Go. Okay, go. The funny thing is, we could, at any point in time, we could just use our light cruisers to sink these and save the big heavy shells of the armor cruiser for, you know, more important things, but <laughs> we don't work that way. Send in the big boys right away. They have more armor, and if they have an AMC hiding there, an armor cruiser is not going to care. I mean, actually, that's not even fair. They, She will, but looks like we got the destroyer now. Just need to sink the last one. One thing to even consider is it's you don't want to run in, you don't want to ram one of these transports. That would be a terrible way to go. Got her. A couple more hits and we should be okay. Void torpedoes and I think we're set. Here we go. Another hit. Never be too careful with these squirmy things. This is obviously going to be a horrible, a horrible defeat for them. If this destroyer gets away. We almost should let her get away. I kind of want to roleplay this. Let her get away so she can tell everyone of the massacre that happened. Yeah. No, the strategic points are actually more worth what... I mean, it's nice to roleplay, but unfortunately we need an invasion here, so... 
We want to gun this one down, unfortunately. Don't have much time left. Come on. There it is. Okay, good. So we literally sank every single Russian vessel out there. We didn't take any damage ourselves. <laughs> it's just... Things are looking a lot like 1905 again for the for the Russians. And unfortunately, that's going to be what concludes this episode. I'm still not exactly sure what's going to cause this invasion to trigger. Was it correct? Did I see correctly that they have some... See, they have no vessels here. They probably just moved in some. In fact, okay, Russia has one light cruiser. Nothing here. And nothing. Okay, so they actually only have one light cruiser that's even capable of getting there this turn or next turn. I mean, next turn. There's nothing this turn. One can get there next turn. So I would say that... I don't see how it's possible for them to prevent this invasion. We really ought to be triggering it. So hopefully that happens next episode. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.